Okay, we're going to begin our lesson by exploring the Windows desktop. What you're looking at right now is a Windows 7 desktop, which is the latest one that's on the market. We will be seeing a new desktop for Windows 8, which will be released in the fall of 2012. Um, you might be working on an earlier version of Windows 2, maybe Windows XP, uh, Windows 2000, something of the sort. But what we're going to look at right now is going to be somewhat consistent throughout those versions of, of Windows. And when we talk about a desktop, think of your Windows desktop as your own personal desktop at work. Um, you want to maintain a fairly clean environment, you know, keep it dusted, keep everything organized, keep your um, files and folders in outgoing and ingoing boxes, and you know, ideally that's what you would want to do. So when you think about organizing your own Windows desktop on the computer, you want to take those same concepts in mind and keep your Windows desktop as tidy or even in some cases more tidy than your own personal workplace. Uh, it can be somewhat easier to do it in Windows than it can be um, on your uh, on your physical desktop. So that's uh, that's an advantage to working with the computer. So what we're looking at right now is if smack dab in the center is uh, in Windows glorious little icon there. Um, and that's just a personal, what they call wallpaper. So on our desktop, you know, we might just have a matte color, black, or what have you. But you can personalize this, put in pictures, and what have you. So that's what you actually see on your desktop. And when, they, when someone speaks of the Windows desktop, really everything that you see on your screen natively uh, as you launch the program and get into Windows is referred to as your Windows desktop. And I've got a couple of, of items on my desktop which is going to look a little different than yours but as we walk through it on the top left hand side you're going to see what Windows refers to as icons. So they're just visual representations of uh, programs essentially that you can access through Windows. So our recycle bin is used to um, throw away uh, files and papers that we don't need so it's going to look like like an empty waste basket and down at the bottom and one thing to note though in the earlier versions of Windows your icons aren't going to be as as pretty looking as they are now because they have earlier versions of computers just didn't have the graphical power of the machine to make them look as glorious as they do now so you're going to see a stark contrast in uh, in that is that's going to be one of the most recognizable differences as we work through this and then down at the bottom left you're going to see uh, just a windows orb and that's essentially is just a portal for us to access other programs that are tucked away inside of the windows and get to our files and and change things up and customize our environment and uh, and whatnot and that's kind of a, a grand central here that we can access um, really anything that we want to inside of the operating system by just clicking on that orb and and perusing through different layers of of, of files and whatnot and um, directly um, next to that is essentially what we refer to as our taskbar and our taskbar is essentially going to house any programs that we use quite often. Most people are using the computer to surf the internet and they might be using a word uh, a word document or they might be using like a Photoshop or a particular web page that they get to quite often. Well what you have in the uh, in, in Windows 7 taskbar is you can actually pin these down below here so something that you want to access a lot like if you wanted to browse the web a lot you can get to those fairly easily and then right clicking you can even get to some of your more recent um, or most visited websites that you've pinned up here as well so that's just easily accessible and it keeps the desktop clean too so you don't have to have them cluttered here in your workspace um, over to the uh, far right still down on the bottom is you're gonna have your tray icon so it's gonna show you your date and your time keep track with that and it's also gonna show you other programs that might actually be running in the background typically these are just background running programs um, and whatnot and you you might have more of these a lot less than these um, you know it, it depends on what machine you're running and what programs that you've got running um, up at the top um, you probably won't have this one or any widgets running but this is a widget they can be moved anywhere really that you want to but it's just showing my uh, my CPU heat right now 
that's uh, that's running keeping track of my computer um, and then you can get weather widgets and, and calendar widgets and all sorts of cool stuff that you can stick onto your desktop so you essentially have that running um, as you work and you can you can get to those items as as you need to and then kind of keep you track of the day or or the task that you have on hand or what have you but that's essentially the the made quadrants of our of our desktop and that's going to complete our lesson for exploring the windows desktop